Hi, I'm Bruce with Olympus Controls, and today I'm excited to share with you some of my favorite features of Interact Express, Parker's Level 1 HMI package. But before I do that, let me just share with you some of the other features of Interact Express that set them apart from HMI packages on the market today. First, let's talk about appearance. From buttons to gauges and graphs to alarms, Interact Express will help your machine stand out from other machines operated by Level 1 HMIs. In addition to the appearance, H Interact Express can do the historical trending, and it can also do high quality animations. You can also import your own images and PDFs and even video. Now let's get to the fun stuff. My favorite feature about Interact Express is its web server capability. On this side you see the application. We have it connect to a motion controller in the other room. It's running on the HMI hardware. Over here I have my PC. It's not connected directly to the HMI. It's actually using the web browser. And what I've done up here is I've just typed in the IP address of the hardware over here. And by doing that I get into the shell. I can actually go into design mode or run mode. I'm going to go into run mode really quick here and show you. I'm locking on here. It's loading into the uh, loading the application from the screen, and it's serving up its images. And as you can see, I actually have the full ability to see what's going on in that application. If I had multiple screens, I could flip through the screens over here on my web browser without disturbing what's going on at the machine level. It gives me the opportunity to troubleshoot with any machine that I have a web browser on, provided it's running a Macromedia Flash. If you look here, I can also make changes to it. I can actually modify, I can press this button, and you'll see that I'm selecting, as I select these two images over here, it changes over there. Uh, in addition to being able to monitor the, uh, what's going on in your HMI from the computer, as you can imagine, you could also do it from any phone that has a web browsing capability, um, tablets, uh, you could do it from the factory or if you give yourself access outside the factory you can do it from there as well. Now let me show you what uh, this functionality allows us to do with regards to designing and editing. Over here again we're back at the flash on the computer or at the flash at the shell on the computer and uh, I can go into design mode say OK and it's actually going to be going into design mode right on the screen so as I make changes here on my PC in a web browser, I will actually be able to see those changes over here. So for instance, say I just double click on this panel, which is the one that we're looking at. You can see there's some hidden, bun hidden buttons here that you can't see on the runtime screen. If I were to just say add a push button, and I wanted it right up there, I could add that push button, I could give it functionality, attach it to some certain tags, and I could add tags from here. Um, so I add that button, and then the person over here if I had multiple screens, if they were to go away from the screen and come back, they would, it would update. In this case, I just have a refresh button. You can kind of see it applying some changes that I've done offline here, or actually done online, and you can see that button appears. If I come back over here and delete it, and go back and refresh again, and that button will be gone. Now, as you can imagine, most HMI packages have version-specific software, so you have to make sure that you keep uh, your uh, development software on your PC, matching what your runtime softwares are on your uh, uh, on the HMI themselves. And so, if you're you know dealing with an old version of software on the HMI, you have to make sure you have the old version of software on your PC. In this case, all I need is a web browser. I can go out and service any of my HMIs at any time with a web browser and then you can go back them up later at some other time. You don't have to worry about making changes, um, uh, worry about your software when you are making those changes. And one last truly unique feature about Interact Express is that Interact Express has the ability to share its tag information with Interact X from Parker. Interact X is a higher level package that can interface with databases, uh, SCADA packages, and what it does is it allows you to have your HMI, your Interact, Interact Express, on the machine having one connection to your PLC or your motion controller or wherever you're communicating to. And then its tags are managed 
to share with uh, your upper level SCADA package so that you don't have to have multiple connections down to your PLC. What that also does is it allows you to get live information into those databases so that you're not doing just end of day reports. You can actually get information as it's happening on your machine into those databases and it's just great for getting in information around your facility. Thanks for taking the time to hear about Interact Express. Look forward to seeing you next month on our next video. Thanks for watching. Hello, engineers. Look at your browser. Now back to your HMI. Now back to your browser. Now back to your HMI. Don't you wish your HMI package would let you make changes to your screen without version-specific development software? With Interact Express from Parker Hannafin, you can make changes to your HMI project straight from your web browser. Fantastic. Now let's talk about looks. Who wants to press your HMI's buttons when they can press this button? Who wants to open this manual when you can open this one? Or this one? Sexy. And although you may want to pay more for this kind of sexy, you won't. Interact Express is a revolutionary level one human machine interface product. It's on your phone.